Oh, that looks easy. Yeah, oh, yeah. that does look pretty easy. Oh. oh, that looks dangerous. I like that. Oh, wow. 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 Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Ryan. And this is Leo. Today we're going to be covering section 11 of the Quick Start Guide for the IUAS Tally H500 Hexacopter. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about one of the key flying features on the new IUAS Tally H500 Hexacopter. We're going to cover the one key to start feature. Before you enable this maneuver, you will want to ensure that you have a GPS lock. This is done by visually inspecting for a blue light on the bottom of the Hexacopter. Once you have verified that, you want to make sure that the copter is on horizontal ground and in a static position. The next step will be to unlock the motors. You can do this by going left on the rudder. Okay, and then I like to verify to make sure that they are in fact unlocked. And then you're gonna put the flight mode switch, which is the mix switch in this case, to position one, and the rudder DR switch to position one. This will cause the hexacopter to take off by itself. Once it reaches its desired altitude, it'll give you control in which you can start flying. If you would like to regain control before then, you, know, you want to make sure that your throttle is uh, at a good level so you don't drop. And there you have one key to start. Right here, we're going to demonstrate the altitude hold function. First, unlock the motors. Make sure in manual mode, that's mix switch to position zero. All other switches to zero positions as well. Unlock the motors. Take off. Once you've reached your desired altitude, go ahead and flip mix switch to position one. This will cause the hexacopter to altitude hold. It is a very steady lock, I must say. Solid hold. Very solid. You want to land, you just bring it below. Yep. To land, you're going to switch back to manual. You want to make sure that your throttle is uh, at a good level so you don't drop. Okay? We're just going to bring it right back down. We hope you find this tutorial useful. Subscribe and see you the next time. And now a clip from our Missing Children projects. Go, get it Brian!